he's an Aussie import, even though he's been here over 25 years, who's had a hand in our many New Zealand TV and film drama successes from Shortland Street, Outrageous Fortune, to Whale Rider. In fact, the question is what he's not been involved in with a brand new series premiering even tonight on TV3. Please welcome to the cafe, Gavin Struan. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but it is interesting because, you know, I was just saying to you before that when I see your name involved with a TV show, and I hope you take this as a compliment, I do not want to miss it because it always delivers. That's very kind of you to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and tell you, an incredible career. Were you originally brought here to help with Shortland Street? Is that the That's story? right. I came over to help set up the writing department and train the writers for the writing in the beginning. And I, I was the first writer-producer. And I stayed there for about three or four years and then moved on. And before that you were doing Neighbours? Were you doing Neighbours? Oh, yes, for <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I heard a story that you were trying to incorporate an Asian family and Neighbours. And then when you kind of got to New Zealand, you thought, aha, a bit of diversity. Was that well, the case? Well, so, well, actually, I left Neighbours because they were so... Mm, <laughs> and um, <laughs> well, that was one of the reasons. And then yeah. when... Um, I was contacted about Shortland Street. I was promised that it was going to be racially diverse and deal with topical issues and all those kind of things. And so it sounded very exciting. So I was actually back in Adelaide writing a play when wow. they rang me. And wow. Well, we so were lucky to get you. Just yeah. look at that. You know, it's still continue to be a great show, Shortland Street. 20 years on. You've done Go Girls, which I absolutely loved. You've done, oh, I, if, we na fun. if we name them all, there's just so many things that you've written. So what makes an amazing drama? Um, an idea you feel strongly about, really. Yeah. E even though whatever the, the format it ends up as, you've got to, it's got to be something you care about, really. I think underlying it, all the things that I've worked on just about are things that I found something I care about. Yeah. Hmm. And I wanted to know, too, and you might not want to answer this, um, people probably <laughs> pay good money for this answer, but when you're writing a show, do you start at the end and work your way back, or do you...? Oh, no, no, no? It's, it's fumbling around in the dark. Most really? of the time. <laughs> oh, well, you know, you start off with an idea and you, yeah. you... And often I work with other people because one of the things I love about television is collaborative. And so Rachel Lang and I have worked yeah. together on lots of shows. We've worked separately, but we've worked together. What and we you, collaborate. So. What would you be most proud of, do you think? Is that a tough question? I can't say. <laughs> you can't say? <laughs> uh, what, what show? Hide and Seek's on tonight. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I'll tell you what, before we talk more about that, because I've been lucky enough to see it, let's just have a look at the trailer for tonight's premiere. All new to three. This friend was blown up in that explosion. An epic trans-Tasman event. We're dealing with a possible terrorist situation. Australian and New Zealand authorities are keen to track down any undesirables. Who are these people? The explosive new thriller. We're establishing a task force. New Zealand secret agent. Get on the ground now! What are you planning? What's your target? Hide and Seek starts tonight, 8.30 on 3. Oh, yes, looks good. Ooh, it looks it? great, and there looks like there's heaps of bombs going off and pyrotechnics. So, uh, was it a New Zealand budget you had to work with? <laughs> well, you know, oh, the, the saying is that talk is cheap. Yeah. Um, and often in New Zealand, we write shows around that, and sometimes the talk is really good. Mm. But uh, with Hide and Seek, we actually got a chance to write a bit of running and chasing and bombs going off as well. and. That was great. And where where yeah. did the storyline come from? Because who would have thought, you know, 20 years ago that you'd be writing a, a, a plot that involves New Zealand and Australia and terrorism? Um, well, actually, it, Ra Rachel Lang was talking about how easy it was, uh, that it was an easy way into Australia if you came via New Zealand. Right. Of, and we started sort of riffing on that idea and talking about it and then talking about, oh, what if it was terrorists? And that what is if a it hot was... topic <laughs> too, isn't it? But also we actually wanted to explore, you know, no offence to Australia, but um, their treatment of immigrants and mm -hmm. things like that were something we thought could be explored through a drama. So again, as I was saying, having a, something you want to say underneath everything is quite important. So, so, you know, how, how do you come up with it, though? Is it sitting around having a yarn? Is it reading the paper and thinking these are some issues that we could, you know, grab on to? Um, so, well, actually, I mean, if Rachel and I sit together, we can't have a conversation without coming up with ideas, well, really. That's exciting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we have over the years. We, you know, we sit down, we start talking ideas, and sometimes something comes out of it. A lot of the times, nothing comes out of it. It just depends. But if we get an idea... Usually we're excited by it and then we try and sell it. So that's <laughs> yeah. the way it works. You've been very <laughs> successful doing that as Thank well. You. Yeah, well no, you have. And okay, and for those that, you know, perhaps haven't got the gist of what hide and seek is, can you tell us a little bit more? 
Well, very briefly, a, a, a New South Wales cop, his partner is killed and he tries to investigate what happened and it involves an immigration scam that brings in a New Zealand immigration officer who's a, a lawyer, but it turns out she's actually got a shadier background than that. Oh, OK. Yeah. No, I noticed that. I want to know more about it. Hey, well, congrats on everything you're doing. Thanks um, very much. You are brilliant. And that show tonight is premiering. You can watch Gavin's incredible drama, Hide and Seek, starting tonight on 3 at 8.35. And then, of course, on 3 now. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Thanks very much for having me. Yeah, nice. Thanks.